Are you thinking about getting a toy poodle and wondering if you're making the right choice? The last thing you want is to end up with a dog that doesn't fit your lifestyle. Toy poodles are extremely intelligent, gentle, easy to train, and loyal to their owners. They're also agile and smart and often excel in various doggy sports, including tracking, obedience, and agility. Toy poodles are also excellent water retrievers. But toy poodles also have their negatives. For instance, this dog breed requires a lot of day-to-day -day hands on friendship from its owner to be happy. They're also prone to experiencing separation anxiety if left alone for a long time. Many people who keep toy poodles often end up regretting it when they find out that they cannot cope with what seems to be never-ending demands. In this video, we will go over 12 reasons why you shouldn't get a toy poodle. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified when we release more amazing dog videos. Number 12. One of the reasons why you should not keep toy poodles is because their grooming is expensive and time-consuming. If you get a toy poodle, then you must be ready to put some time and money aside for grooming your toy poodle to prevent their curly hair from getting so long that they look like a toy sheep, and from forming knots and matting of the hair. Unlike other dog breeds that shed their fur regularly, toy poodles don't shed their hair, meaning you need to groom them frequently to prevent them from having a dreadlock look. Without proper grooming, their hair will begin to cord and have a dreadlock-type look. Toy poodles require clipping every 4-6 to six weeks to keep their curly hair short and free of knots. If you fail to trim their curly hair on time, it will look shabby and untidy. So if you have a busy schedule, you may find yourself failing to groom the dog on time. The extra attention that toy poodles require when it comes to grooming is one of the reasons why you shouldn't get a toy poodle. Number 11. Another reason why you should not get a toy poodle is that they are overly sensitive. They are soft, delicate, and hypersensitive. They tend to flinch when touched unexpectedly or if someone surprises them with a loud noise. Their overly sensitive nature makes them a bit nippy, especially to little kids. There are many reported cases of toy poodles being aggressive to kids because they were disturbed unexpectedly. Additionally, Toy poodles often get mentally stressed if there are too many activities happening around them. They can also get stressed and scared when people argue around them. They don't like surprises and often thrive in an environment that is quiet and peaceful. Number 10. Unlike a lot of other dogs that are gentle and calm to children even when they annoy them, toy poodles are not so friendly to children. As said earlier, they tend to be overly sensitive and often don't take children's pranks and rough housing. Because of their small size, most kids often think of the toy poodle as more of a toy and want to play with them, oblivious of the toy poodle's fragile emotions that can sometimes result in them biting the child. Toy poodles don't like being stressed or annoyed and may even bite your kid. Therefore, if you have kids in your house, and aren't willing to put in the time to train the dog, this might be a reason why you shouldn't get a toy poodle. Number 9. Toy poodles are incredibly loyal and friendly to their family members. They're also smart and highly trainable. However, the story is not the same when it comes to strangers. Toy poodles are often wary of strangers and can sometimes be aggressive towards them. They are always alert when they are around people that are not familiar. If you are the type of person who gets a lot of guests, the environment may not be perfect for a toy poodle. The dog will bark a lot to express his dissatisfaction. Training your toy poodle properly and socializing it from an early age can be very helpful in helping prevent these stressful situations when guests come over. This will take time and training, and again, if you aren't willing to put in the time to train your dog, the toy poodle may not be right for you. Number 8. All dog breeds get sick at some point in their life. However, some dog breeds are more vulnerable to health issues than others, and toy poodles are one of them. Toy poodles are known to suffer from food allergic reactions and diabetes. If this dog breed does not consume food for an extended time, 
they are likely to suffer from hypoglycemia. Other health issues that Dory Poodles are likely to suffer from includes patellar luxation progressive retinal atrophy, epilepsy, joint disorders, disc disease, eye disease, bronchial and leg cough perthes disease. Their small mouth also makes them susceptible to plaque buildup. Toy poodles do have a long lifespan of up to 15 years, but be prepared to visit the vet throughout the dog's lifetime. Treating health issues in dogs is not only emotionally draining, but is also very expensive. One of the reasons why you shouldn't get a toy poodle. Number 7. All dog breeds bark, but some like toy poodles bark excessively to a point where it may become annoying. Some toy poodles are nuance barkers that may inconvenience you and other people around you. They're always alert and often bark at anything that excites or aggravates them. If you don't like a dog breed that barks a lot, then this might not be the right dog breed for you. Number 6. Toy poodles are very clingy and require a lot of attention from their owners. They don't like being left alone for an extended period of time and will suffer from emotional stress if they are not given the attention that they are looking for. Therefore, if you are the type of person who travels a lot, then you shouldn't get a toy poodle. Being away from this pooch for too long will lead to stress and anxiety. They always demand attention from their families and will follow them anywhere they go. If you aren't going to be available for the toy poodle, then this is not the right dog for you. You will have a difficult time with this dog breed if you don't connect with them emotionally. Number 5. Toy poodles are very sensitive to their owner's feelings and emotions. They are very intelligent and they sometimes react to what they think their master wants them to do. Their hypersensitivity is not ideal, especially for people who live in generally loud households. They don't like areas that are noisy like city apartments. If you are the kind of person who shouts when commanding your dog, you should not get this dog breed. You will not enjoy the company of a toy poodle if you're not also sensitive to his feelings. Number 4. You may be surprised that toy poodles don't make good guard dogs, yet they are intelligent, alert, and love barking. Although toy poodles will bark when they spot danger, the reality is that toy poodles are tiny and hence will not scare intruders. Additionally, the fact that they bark a lot means that the owner may not take their alarm seriously even when things are serious. If you are looking for a guard dog, then you should look for a dog breed that is larger in size with good guarding instincts. Number 3. Toy poodles are very delicate dogs. They are tiny and thus need to be handled with care to protect them from injuries. The reason why they are nippy to children is that they are trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. Therefore, if you have small children, then this may not be the ideal dog breed for you because they can easily be injured. Number 2. Toy poodles are peaky eaters, meaning they don't eat most of the foods that other dog breeds eat. This means that feeding the dog will cost you more since you have to feed them with special types of foods, the majority of which are very expensive. The reason why toy poodles are picky eaters is that their stomach is very sensitive and are more likely to suffer from a digestive problem such as chronic diarrhea, constipation, and much more if they are not given the right food. The fact that you will spend a lot of money feeding this dog is another reason why you should not keep them. But if you are serious about getting a toy poodle, Ali Dog Food is a good place to check out for high-quality dog food that no picky eater can resist. Go to dogoracle.com slash ollie to check them out and help our channel. Number 1. Although toy poodles are intelligent and good at following commands, they require a lot of training. They are independent-minded and like doing things their way, which could be a problem if they are not well-trained. People who keep this dog breed tend to invest a lot of money hiring professionals to train their toy poodle to be obedient and follow commands. You don't necessarily have to pay a lot for dog training. You can get a good and affordable online dog training course like the one at dogoracle.com slash dog training. You just need to be willing to put in the time and be consistent. 
From the discussion above, it is clear that toy poodles have their pros and cons. However, most of the cons can be fixed with proper training. Some dogs will require more work than others, which is why you must be consistent and never give up on training and finding what works best for you and your dog. All links will be down below in the description. Also check out our other videos, the 15 best dogs for first-time owners and the top 15 easiest dogs to own. And I'll see you in the next video.